guys welcome back to my channel once again so i am going to be doing another jawbreaker look but this time i am using the mini breaker as well so i will be using both of the palettes together and i'm just going to again kind of get into different products that i haven't used recently so let's get started so i'm going to prime with my bare minerals prime time original foundation primer i think i've only used this maybe once but it's a clear primer and I am just going to apply a very thin layer all over my face. Next I am going to use my Real Techniques Dampened Beauty Sponge and I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation in the shade Sand and I'm just going to again, I'm going to do my little trick where I put the two pumps right onto the sponge and I apply it all over my face but not my forehead. And then once my face is blended out, I go over my forehead just a little bit. And I find it really helps to control how much product goes on there. And it doesn't look overdone. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Color Correcting Priming Stick. And just put this product where I need it. And then when I go in with my sponge again, I'm just going to tap out the edges. And really try to keep the product where I placed it. Because... It helps to just cover up the spots and the dark circles. So again, just blending out the inner corners a little bit. And then going around the outside edges here. And then I'm just going to leave it like that. It looks splotchy, but once I put the concealer on top, you will not see that at all. So I am actually going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is the shade 20 Sand as well. So it'll probably match with my foundation which is okay because I'm just going to go in and bronze today. I'm not, oh, let's see, it's still lighter. Perfect. I'm not doing any contour today only because I want the eyeshadow to really stand out and pop. And with the eyeshadow, I have an idea of what I'm doing. And now my plan was just to kind of like contour the eye, put a pop of sparkly color on top. And I think with, if I use the highlight shade from the Jawbreaker palette, as my inner corner highlight, I think it'll just really brighten things up. So I think I'm going to stick with that today because I'm really excited to use the shade Oral, which is kind of like one of those color changing shades. It looks like one shade in the pan, and then when you put it on your eye, it like has different reflux in it. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to make my under eye look. So I'm just going to set right away with my Peach Perfect, uh, Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder infused with peach and sweet fake cream. I haven't used this in a while and I usually say that it is drawing under the eye which it usually is but this it's so pretty. Oops I'm dropping it all over my shirt. What a waste. So this stuff I feel like it's drawing underneath the eye. Instead of using my sponge um, for the rest of my face I'll just use it under my eye here just to set it like right away. So I'll just use my large powder, my F20 by Sigma. And I always set the rest of my face because your makeup lasts much, much longer if you do. And even if you accidentally touch your face during the day, the makeup won't come off as easy if you set it. But if you leave it to get like more of a dewy finish, then it does not last as long. So now that we're finished with powdering the face, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and I'm using my um, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is the shade Deep Bronzer. It smells like, this actually smells like tropical. It doesn't really smell like coconut, I don't know. Maybe. It just smells like tropical vacation. So I'm going to take my large, um, usually my bronzer brush is what I call this one now, my large powder F30, stamp it in the product, and bronze the tops of my cheeks forehead. I'm not warming up near my temples today, but this product gives you a little bit of a sheen. It's not really a shimmer, just a little bit of a sheen on your face. And then when you add a setting spray, it just kind of gives it that right amount of glow. This is a nice, like, and again, I'm not like a huge drugstore product fan, but for the price that you pay for this, I think it's $20. It's actually still pretty pricey for a drugstore product because like cheap drugstore products, you know, you're looking at six to ten dollars but this is about 20 maybe 23 i'm not sure so that is really all i'm going to bronze and you can't hardly even tell that i have bronzer on my face i'm going to keep with the peach theme and use my Too faced papa don't peach blush 
And again, if I can find it, my F10 powder blush brush, because it's my favorite brush to use for blush. And this also has a bit of a shimmer in it. So it gives my cheeks a little bit of a glow. And it actually pairs perfectly with a bronzer because it's already kind of like a bronzy peach shade. And it, it really honestly doesn't over powder, over blush your face. It's like a perfect shade, especially for lighter skin. And for darker skin, I don't see it show up on my face as much as somebody with lighter skin would. But sometimes I like that effect where it honestly looks like my skin is glowing. I've used a mattifying face product and then I put this stuff on top and it just looks amazing. So I'm going to also highlight while we're at it because I'll, I'll put this away because I'm using the um, really sparkly white shadow in the Jawbreaker palette to do inner corners. So I'm going to use my Soft Blend Concealer F64 which is my new favorite um, highlighting brush. I'm going to dip it into the champagne shade here. It looks a little funny, but once I spray it, some spray will be okay. So I think I'm going to need to get a new one of these, but this is my Milani Make It Dewy, and it is my favorite setting spray right now. I don't, I just always reach for this one, like, really quickly. I think it's still $15 as well, but. I guess the only negative thing I can say is that when it sprays, the nozzle, I feel like there's a big jet of spray going down toward my neck. So maybe if I buy a new one, it won't be that way. I just gave it two good spritzes and I'm going to let it dry. I will go off camera and do eyebrows. I'm using my Total Temptation Brow Definer 305 Soft Brown to kind of outline and fill my brows in with the really sparse areas. And then I'm using my Maybelline Brown Precise Fiber Volumizer in Soft Brown as well to kind of give it more hair-like appearance. And finally, in case, just I won't necessarily use this, but this is my Fake Wake by Tarte, kind of like a skin colored eyeliner. So technically you use it on the water rim, on the lower lot water rim to like kind of make your eyes look more open. But sometimes I use it underneath my brow to clean up as well. And it's only if I've made like a mistake or I just want like a really nice line. So we will be right back and eyebrows will soon be done. And I did them a little bit darker, a little bit more dramatic today just to kind of give the eyes some more definition. And I'm going to start with my favorite crease brush, my E40 Taper Blending by Sigma. And I am going to kind of do the same thing that I did in my last video. I'm going to start with Good Morning, which is this really light kind of skin color pink peach. This skin color pink peach shade. And I'm just going to put it really high up, kind of close to my brow bone here. And you won't be able to see it on my skin, but it will help the other shadow that I apply next blend well. And next I'm going in with the shade Cone, which is the next uh, crease shade I would put in for transition shade. And I'm just putting it a little bit lower than that first shade. Okay, next I'm going to use a smaller crease brush. I'm going to actually use my diffused crease brush, which is an E38. And I don't want to put it into this dark brown. I want the look to be a little bit more cool today. So I'm going to go into the mini breaker now, and we're going to use Hot Fudge, which is kind of more of a gray brown. So I'm really going to tap my brush off here because my makeup's already done. And I'm just going to focus on the outer crease and bring it down into the, like, the lid on the outer corner a little bit. I'm really going to focus on blending this, so even if we have to go back in with the previous brush, we're just really going to blend it out and make it look seamless. I'm just continuing to pack on color, and normally I would just pack this on because I wouldn't want it leaving fall underneath my eye, but I really want that blended look. So I'm even blending it more toward the center into the crease more. And now I'm going back into that first brush that we used, add a little bit more of the shade cone from the Jawbreaker palette and blend out any edges. And now I'm actually going to take a wet E25. So I'm using this more of a flat fluffy brush and this again, Sigma E25. So I'm going to wet it with MAC Fix Plus because I want to go in and add a shimmer shade now and I want it to be really potent. 
So I'm going to go in with the mini breaker and add the shade Oro, which is this blend right here. So it does look purple, but I think it's kind of like, oh yes, so pretty. It is kind of purple, but there's something else in there as well, and I don't know what. So I'm just going to really stick to the lid here, and I'm packing on the color. Okay, so I'm not really bringing it up into the crease anymore at all, but I'm going to go back in with that E38 diffused crease and then go back in with hot fudge and just add a little bit more here. And now I'm just kind of packing it on instead of blending because that shade is still wet. So I just want to darken it up a little bit. We'll go back in with the first brush and then again lightly blend out that outside edge. And that is it for the top lid. So now I'm just going to go straight in with that same color, that oral color, and add it right to the lower lash line all the way across and blow it out a little bit. Alright, now to really liven things up, I'm actually going to take a pencil brush. So this is an E35 Sigma. I'm going to go back in to Jawbreaker now, and we're going to go into the shade Jawbreaker, which is right here. So it feels like not just feels, it looks like it has a little bit like of a green or a golden undertone. I'm going to dab my brush in it. I'm not going to use this wet yet. I'll just see how it applies before. And we're putting that right on the inner corner. I'm just going to pack it on. And in a look like this where it kind of looks like you just have the one color on your eye, it really gives it some visual interest. So now it really looks like it's kind of opened up a bit and a lot more brighter. And even just for like effect, I could put a pop right here as if the light is hitting you right on the center of your eye, but I won't touch anymore. That'll be it. And then just put a little bit underneath the brow. And then I'm just going to go heavily in with mascara once we're done. And we will do lips as soon as we get back. So for mascara, I am using my Tarte Man Eater. Um, I am using up my samples just to see what is all dried up and ready to be thrown out. So if this doesn't work, I might have to go into something else. But we are going to focus on the lips now. I am using my Milani Nat well, can't talk again. My Milani Color Statement Lip Liner, but I am using the 04 Natural instead of my 09 Spice, which I always use. Like I use that one every day. So I'm really just giving this um, lip liner. I'm increasing the uh, top portion to make my lips a little bit fuller, and again the bottom as well. But I'm really not looking to like add tons of color. I'm just kind of changing the shape of my lips a bit and it still looks natural. So now what I'm going to do is take my MAC lip glass in see-through and put a very slight layer on and just blend it into the lip liner and it'll give it like a very glossy finish. Okay and that's really it for this look and I really like how it looks. I like that color changing shade. I mean it mostly just looks purple but if I look really close I can see like a little reflex of green in there and blue even. And then that brighter inner corner highlight just kind of gives it something extra. So I am in love with this look. I know it's one of those looks. I mean I've used four colors on my eyes. I used the really light shade, I used a transition color, I used the darker gray brown in the outside crease and then I used actually so I used five because I used the inner highlight corner as well. So five shades on my eyes and um, you can still get it to look really bright and eye-opening and I just I love this. I know it looks very simple but it and, and it wasn't it didn't take that long to blend out the shades and all I used were three brushes so five colors oops, five colors or sorry four brushes and that is not bad at all so that is not too shabby at all if you guys enjoyed this look please leave a thumbs up below leave comments suggestions um, future video ideas or makeup looks that you want to see me do and also subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit the bell button to be notified the next time i post a video so until next time you guys have a wonderful day take care